Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, a boy is holding a smooth hollow and non-conducting pipe vertically with a charged spherical ball of mass 10 gram carrying a charge of 10 millicoulomb inside it which is free to move along the axis of the pipe. The boy is moving the pipe from east to west direction in the presence of magnetic field of 2 tesla. With what minimum velocity should the boy move along the axis? Also determine the direction of the magnetic field. So the problem is based on a topic uh, magnetic field, a charge placed in a magnetic field and the force experienced by the charge in a magnetic field. So we know that the formula for the calculation of force is given by Q V cross B. So this is the formula in the vector form and uh, we can write it down in this form also Q V B sin theta. So the data given here is the magnetic field is given as 2 tesla the charge is 10 millicoulomb, the mass is in gram which is 10 gram which we have to convert it into the kg. So we have to multiply it by 10 raised to the power minus 3. So we get the final value as 10 raised to the power minus 2 kilograms. The gravitational acceleration we know that 9.8 meter per second is square. So basically the problem is this, a boy is holding a particular a particular pipe. In, in this particular pipe there is a ball having a certain mass and a certain charge. So this is the vertical, this placed vertical, this pipe is vertical, vertical like this, folded by the boy. The boy, boy is moving from east to west. So the boy is moving from east to west. So the direction of velocity is from east to west. Direction of velocity is from east to west. The gravitation force is towards the earth. This is the direction of the gravitation force. This is the direction of the inwards to this particular plane of the board. This is the direction of the mg, that is the force applied towards the center of the earth. To balance the particular ball, to hold the particular ball, equal and opposite force must apply in the opposite direction. So this outward force is the magnetic force. This outward force, outward from this plane of this board, this is the force, magnetic force, which is applied on the ball to balance this particular ball. Now, according to this formula, F equals to V cross B, we can easily see that this is the first vector, V is the first vector, B is the second vector. So we place our hand, we place our hand along the direction of V, along the direction of V and curl our finger in downward direction. Then the thumb will represent the direction of force. So like this, this is the direction of first vector, which is V from E to W, east to west. Hand is curling downward. This is the, this should be the direction of the magnetic field north to south. This is the answer of second part of the problem. Determine the magnetic field direction. So curl finger towards the north to south direction, downward direction. So this thumb is in the upward direction in this case, which is the force in the upward direction. So the answer of the second part of the problem is direction is direction of the magnetic field is from north to south. The direction of magnetic field is from north to south. This is the answer of the second part of the problem. For the first part of the problem, we have to balance the magnetic force and the gravitation force. So magnetic force is Q V B sin theta. It is equal to mg. Now for the velocity to be minimum, this sin theta should be maximum. And sin theta is maximum when theta is 90 degree and the value of sin 90 degree is 1. So this value is 1. So we can say that from this equation, V equals to mg upon qb. Now putting the respective values of mg, q and b in this particular equation, we get this final value of V as 4.9 meter per second. So this is the answer of the first part of this particular problem. So this is the solution of this particular problem. So we understand the solution.